Welcome back. Today, we'll be wrapping up our tutorials on dimension options in DraftSight. Starting with the Continue and Baseline features located under the same icon in the Dimensions section of the Annotations tab in the ribbon, both of these functions quickly extend a new dimension from an existing one in your design. The only difference between the two is that one continues a linear, angular, or ordinate dimension from the second extension line of the previous dimension, while the other continues a dimension from the first extension line, or baseline, of the previous dimension line. Keep in mind that both can also extend from a selected dimension, not just the previous one. Next up is the Smart Leader function, which is located in the same section of the ribbon, and it allows you to add a defined label to a certain point. It's activated by simply selecting the feature, specifying your point, the position of the label, and adding your text. Lastly, the center mark feature does exactly what you would expect it to. It inserts crossing center lines of circles and arcs. Just click on its icon, select your curve of choice, and you're good to go. I found this one especially convenient when drawing entities to align with arced objects. So try these out for yourself to do more with your draft site experience. If you're looking to learn more, visit the blog page or visit draftsite.com.